So what is a company? Company is a kind of business structure, a business organization. Suppose a person wants to start a business. He invests, let's say, 10 lakhs of rupees and he starts his own business. This kind of structure is called a sole proprietorship where this one person is the owner of the business. He invests some money, let us say 10 lakhs of money. He is in control of this business. He is in complete charge. He looks after the day-to-day -day affairs. The profits are entirely his. When he stops working, the sole proprietorship also stops working. There is no separate legal entity as such. <clears throat> the advantages are that this sole proprietor, this owner has complete control over all the affairs of the business, of his business. The disadvantage is that his capital is limited. Limited capital. At the same time, when he suffers losses, when he incurs liabilities, he personally has to meet all these liabilities so that he could have unlimited liability. It is not that his liability will be restricted to the amount of capital that he has invested. It could be much more. So under a sole proprietorship, there is limited capital, unlimited liability, no separate legal existence so that the continuity is lost when the proprietor stops doing the business. Suppose the sole proprietor, a person, wants to have a bigger business, a little more funds. He could get a few other people, maybe 10 people combined together. Each of them bring in 10 lakhs of rupees. So the amount of capital raised is a little more and they form what is called a partnership. This is another kind of business structure, a business organization. Under partnership also, there is more amount of capital, but still it is limited, limited to the amount that these 10 people can bring. There is a restriction on the number of partners and the maximum number of partners. So there is more capital than a sole proprietorship, but the amount of capital is still limited. What about the liability? Liability continues to be unlimited because it is not necessary that the liability of a partner will be restricted to the amount of capital that he has brought in. He might incur greater liabilities than the capital that he has invested in. Strictly speaking, in case of a partnership, also with the retirement death of a partner, the partnership comes to an end. A new partnership needs to be created. So continuity or perpetual succession is not again maintained just like in the case of sole proprietorship. So from a sole proprietorship, we evolved, the business structure has evolved to a partnership and now we have another form of business organization called a company. In case of a company, capital can be raised from n number of people all over. Not necessarily in the city where the company is registered, not the state, not the country, even investors from all around the world could put in capital in a company. So what happens is capital becomes unlimited. The amount of capital that we can raise in a company form of business structure is unlimited. At the same time, the company form of business, the structure is such that each owner's liability is restricted to the amount of capital that he has invested. So we have unlimited capital and a limited liability. <clears throat> also, there is perpetual succession. That is, a company could go on forever. It does not matter when the owners change. It has a separate legal entity and can continue, can have a life much more far beyond 
the lives of the individual owners. This in brief is how a company form of business structure has come about. Let us look at the proper definition of a company. So what is a company? A company is actually defined as a voluntary association of persons. So what is the business organization? It is actually an association of persons. Voluntary association of persons. With a separate legal entity, it has to be incorporated under the Companies Act. The Companies Act was the Companies Act 1956 and the new Companies Act is the Companies Act 2013. So it is a voluntary association of persons incorporated under the Companies Act, either the Companies Act 1956 or the Companies Act 2013 or any other earlier Companies Act. <coughs> So what is a company? Once more, a company is a voluntary association of persons incorporated with perpetual succession with an own name and a separate seal. The owners have limited liability. The company has is a separate legal entity it has an own name and its documents, etc. have to be under the company's seal. And any person who represents the company will sign on behalf of the company. But the seal is like a signature of the company. <clears throat> what is perpetual succession? It can go on forever and it is independent of the lives of its owners. There are n number of owners, several owners may form a company. An owner can transfer his share of capital, his capital to somebody else. If any of the owners die, they are not interested, they move out of the business, the company does not close, the company does not come to an end. The process of closing the company or liquidation is entirely different. So there is continuity of business there is perpetual succession limited liability the owners the liability of the owners is limited to the capital that they have invested if they have put in an entire amount of their share of capital that money may get lost but nothing more than that if they have not put in the entire amount of capital which they were supposed to, they would be further liable only to that part of that capital which they have not yet paid. So there is a limited liability. However, another interesting aspect of the company is that ownership and management are different. This is because who are the owners of a company? Large number of people scattered all over. It is not possible for these people, these several owners, to manage the affairs of the company. So the owners, they are called shareholders, they appoint a board of directors. These board of directors is responsible for the management of the company. Shareholders are the owners. Ownership is with the shareholders. But management is professionally managed by the board of directors appointed by the shareholders. So a company is a voluntary association of persons which is incorporated, has its own name and seal with perpetual succession. <clears throat> Because the ownership and management is separate, <clears throat> some control needs to be exercised. A company must maintain books of accounts. Double entry and accrual system are followed, <clears throat> are to be followed, and the financial statements are prepared as per the format given in the Companies Act. 
so books of account must be prepared and financial statements profit and loss account and balance sheet formats have been prescribed in the uh, in the companies act periodically there has to be audit <clears throat> audit to ensure that the profit and loss account gives a true and fair view of the profits of the business that the balance sheet tells us gives a true and fair view of the assets and liabilities which are owned by a company <clears throat> also all shareholders have the right to information they can ask the directors questions on the working of the company they attend meetings of the shareholders and they can raise queries questions etc they also have access to the financial statements <clears throat> this requirement of control unlike in case of a sole proprietorship who was the owner the manager and knew all about his business in case of a company with a separate ownership and separate management where shares owners may constantly change it is not possible for the owners to have total control to manage the affairs of a company so management is separate the board of directors appointed by the shareholders are responsible for the management of the company but books of accounts have to be maintained financial statements have to be prepared periodic audit has to be made and the shareholders have a right of access to information in a company <clears throat> this in brief is how a company is structured and how ownership and management with different ownership and management the affairs of a company are managed